everybody it's it's me uh coming in talking to you hope everybody is doing okay hope that you had a good day to this point a good week um another segment of riding with rick uh where we address issues in the black community for a more uh casual and non-technical perspective uh gives me a chance to lean back into the part of me uh, that is just as equally a part of me. Uh, but anyway, uh, before I get started, uh, if you like what you're hearing uh, and seeing, click the like button, click the share button, subscribe. For those of you who have followed me for time and you know what we're doing, we need your support, we need your financial support, we need you to donate. Uh, especially now with the research and the move to uh, uh, change uh, local, state, and federal policies as it pertains to access to mental, uh, mental uh, health care for specifically and targetedly black men, but obviously anybody of adult age because there are so many blockages that me and others who I work with and who are trying to work with me run into. And I want to address that. So I'm taking on a year long uh, process of doing the research, compiling the data and putting a proposal together to present to local state and federal legislators uh, to change policies because people are falling through the gap. They're in, in the, the, the landing place is either homelessness or prison. And we need to do something about that. And so I'm going to undertake this as I have so many other issues. We need your support. Uh, now, man, Charleston White. If this dude is not the, the full representation of a walking uh, contradiction, I don't, walking and talking contradiction, I don't know what it is. Uh, sometimes you can say some th stuff that's pretty profound. And again, even a clock is right two times a day. But what I find is when he's off, he's way off somewhere that is in violation of what should be codes that aren't violated within the black community. I am not person, and anybody who's followed me knows this, I'm not a person that is big on somebody agreeing with everything I think and that I have to agree with everything you think in order for us to have some ground we can stand on and fight this war for black empowerment, for black, true black liberation um, and all that comes with it. I, I'm not one of those people that's looking for a bunch of get like me's. I believe that the uniqueness of our beliefs, our concepts, our ideas, our strategies, um, are a part of creating very complex dynamic uh, dynamics that work in our favor. So I, I like people who have beliefs or ideas that are in direct alignment with mine. As long as you can explain it, as long as you can provide uh, the prove up on it, I'm all for it. Let's sit down, let's talk, let's chop it up. So this isn't about saying somebody's got to act like me, get like me, talk like me, be like me, because there is no other me and I'm nobody else. Everybody's their individual person and that's so important in this thing. What it is, is that just certain things you don't do uh, as a part of the code. We, we're not going to uh, make it acceptable for our women to be abused, attacked, killed. That has to stop. We're not going to make it acceptable for our children uh, to be assaulted and mishandled and, 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 and mistreated by anybody in the community or outside of the community. We are not going to sit by idly and allow ourselves to be consistently and continuously financially manipulated or uh, coming into our community and wearing our face and our skin color, but actually manipulating. You know the ones I'm talking about. Uh, the big faces, the, uh, the black faces and high places that they use as buffers uh, and uh, manipulators to keep us in our place and keep us distracted. Uh, that's that's off code and we need to be handling that. But another thing that we can't do is do stuff like having us having uh, young black males kill one another. Got, that's that's got to become an off code thing. That's that's got to be a level of in development of self love that says we're not gonna kill one another. We're gonna settle our differences 
however we need to sell it. Maybe we need to take them, put them, put, give, go back to the old days of putting kids in the ring and letting them settle it in the ring. Uh, number one, to create some toughness. Nobody, you have, a, you don't have to be tough to pull a trigger, and that's the problem. You don't have to have courage or anything else to pull a trigger, so anybody can do it. And so that's a problem. We need to deal with that. And I deal with that in all of the ways that I address African-American, adolescent, and young adult male violence. I've done it for years. I've written about it. I've lectured on it. Uh, I've created programs like Black Men Lead. So we're not in new territory here. But here come this clown, Charleston White. And no matter where you at on the Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, leaving Jackson State to go to Colorado argument, I'm not telling you how to think. I'm not telling you how to feel. Everybody's got their own experience and your experience is real and true to you and you should value that, but you should also be open to understanding other ideas, other concepts, other angles, and other perspectives. It's how you grow, it's how you expand, it's how you become more capable of strategizing to improve your particular position and situation. Well, so here we are. And he, this dude has literally put out a $20,000 bounty on Shadur Sanders. Uh, I've heard uh, Shallow Sanders name mentioned, but specifically Shadur Sanders, a $20,000 uh, bounty. And I know that from what I've heard, and I'm a little late uh, because I'm not out chasing sensational stuff to put on my channel. Uh, so when I get it, I get it and I address it, but I'm not out there trying to uh, look for sensational stuff to get up clicks and all that other stuff. I deal with it when it comes, if it's relevant. This is extremely relevant. He literally put out a $20,000 bounty for any college football player that plays the uh, Colorado Buffaloes to hurt a man's son. And, you know, the thing is, you know, it is what it is. And, and I, I think Prime knows how to handle it from his end. But my problem isn't whether it's actually going to happen or not. My problem is that this clown feels that that's the thing to do. And and uh, and I'm just blown away at some of the super stuff. And whoever this cat is, Big Jace, uh, whoever, uh, that's going after Dr. Claude Anderson and Dr. Neely Fuller Jr. and a lot of our old heads, and very disrespectfully so, again, I don't agree with everything that they've always said, but that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to take what the elders hand to us, the ancestors hand to us, and build on it. Not go try to kick it down and tear it down and try to get a name off the name they built, but literally take it and build more. That's what I did with what Dr. Naeem Ogbar handed me, Dr. Francis Rich, Chris Wilson handed, Dr. Amos Wilson handed me, uh, Dr. Uh, Howard Stevenson handled me, handed me. I took it and I put, added to it. I made the adjustments based off of the new, uh, newly acquired and accumulated data, and I honor them in doing it and respectfully uh, acknowledge their genius. It's not about being perfect. None of us will be perfect. There are going to be people who are going to look at what we're doing right now, 30 years from going, what were they thinking? And they'll have more information in which to have them think that way. And it's very important not to take that mindset. But I'm going to deal with that dude, too, I, 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 uh, in some of the very disrespectful ways of doing it. It just popped in my head while I'm talking about uh, one clown, another clown popped in my head. But I'm, I'm, I'm coming after them because there's a way to handle everything. And there's got to be some codes. I'm real big on codes. If you go to the Blueprint uh, 2.0, on the official Odyssey Project site. You're gonna see Code of Conduct. If you look on also on the site, you'll see the original Code of Conduct, which I'm also updating this month. And you'll find that there are just certain things you don't do. You don't sit up and pay somebody to harm another black person. Not because that black person did anything to you personally, because in your mindset, the person was in violation for leaving one place and going to another place, which everybody does. But all of a sudden, that man was held to a different standard because he said God told him that that was that. He was there. He was there for two years. And that school is actually better because he was there. It, it has access to more TV revenue since he's left than the years before he got there. 
and he told them when he got there, it was a resume builder that he wanted to coach a power five school and no power five school would give him a chance. He needed a resume. He told them that's what that was. He didn't give them, I'm gonna be here X amount of years. He said, this is a resume builder. When the opportunity presents itself, if I think it's the right opportunity, I'm gonna take it. I don't think he thought color, you know, that a situation would come up that fast and nobody would actually think Colorado was a good thing, but the way they presented it, he took it. Whether you like it or not, it's up to you. Whether you agree with it or not, it's up to you. You have your own experiences, but for the people who are sitting up talking HBC, HBCU, before he got there, they had a 13% alumnus support, meaning 13% of the people who have graduated from that school was given back to that school. That wasn't Dion's fault but people want to holler about their HBCU. How much are you giving back to where you came from? Same thing in the community. How much are you giving back to where you came from? We are trained to run away from the stuff. We, we, we are trained as fast as we can get away from blackness to get away from it, get away from the hood, get away from that. Go out there and pretend that I'm someone who belongs and fits in in your world. I don't want to be in your damn world. I'm going to function in it. I'm going to sit up and I'm going to exploit it the same way you exploited my ancestors. But I don't want to be accepted by you. I don't want to be revered by you. I don't give a damn what you think about me. Now, I'll do business with and respect anybody who does business and respects me and my people. But I don't need to be liked by you. I'm, I'm not out here trying to do that. What I am trying to do is fight for the thing that I do believe in, the thing that I relate to, the thing I understand. I educated myself not to be accepted, but to be empowered, to be a part of the answer and the solution. But somebody sitting up putting out a hit on somebody's kid behind somebody leaving one place and going to another place is absolutely ridiculous. And the biggest issue I got about it, I ain't never heard this clown put out a hit on George Zimmerman or any of these other darn gone race warriors that are sitting up killing our kids. Nobody doing that, but everybody want to jump straight gangster when it comes to another black person. Go out there and get some of them real gangsters that's killing us. Go get some of them. Go out and put your energy and your, effort and your money in your mouth where that is. No, you know they not going to stand for that you know they shut that down quick and so you know uh finally youtube got something right because they done, they done jacked me over a couple of times but they cut his they, they got rid of his channel i mean all the things that you can sit up and talk about you got a platform you got a bunch of people listening to you and that's the crazy thing here's a dude that is so fucking inconsistent that it's hard to follow where he's gonna be. Sometimes he's talking about family, sometimes he's talking about fatherhood, and I'm like, okay, he's on it. And I'm gonna sit up and say, whether I like you or not, whether I feel, whatever, when you speak the truth, I may acknowledge you speak the truth, I'm gonna sit up and hit the freaking like button. Why? Because I don't ever get attached to the messenger. I'm looking at the message. You might find out the message is X, Y, Z, and all this other stuff laid on down the line, but if the message is true, the message stands true, regardless of the messenger. So, but my problem is you're sitting up there with that platform and you're blowing it. Take that 20 grand you're gonna put on this kid's legs or head or arms or whatever you want to get hurt on him and give it to Jackson State or invest it in something else that can be a part of it. Create an uh, investment fund for Jackson State. Put 20 grand in it. Start getting investors to put up and build something. It doesn't have to be a freaking Deion Sanders to do something great. Matter of fact, I think a part of the message he's sending is anybody out there can sit up and build you a brand, go out and build you a platform, go out and do something great. That's what you should be thinking about. That's what you should be doing. Not trying to have this man's kids hurt because you and your feelings and the true, 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 if you're going to really be true about it, you actually hate me. It's envy that somebody can sit up and actually move against the grain and he scares the shit out of white folks because he won't buy down. Now, obviously, they're going to exploit it. They're going to put their media in positions to make money. They're going to throw him in, stuff like that. But the bottom line is they can't make him bow down. They can't make him go like a bunch of these other coaches, like some of them that he done played. He can't, they can't make him go, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to do it the way you want to. I'm going to toe the line. He's doing it his way. He's doing it with his flag. He's doing it the way he has always done it. And I'm not about anybody trying to emulate him. I'm about to say, be yourself. That's why you see me. 
with, with, with all these different accolades and accomplishment being me. I'm gonna be in a t-shirt and a hoodie and cap 98% of the freaking time. I don't give a freaking rat's ass. Who doesn't like it because I'm being me and I've made a pretty damn good living being me and having the thing that I need to be able to share that. He who has the goal makes the freaking rules. And so all I'm sitting up saying is that needs to be called out. That stuff needs to be crushed. That stuff needs to be pushed back. Stop backing clowns that are detrimental to the push for our empowerment. On that note, I'm going to get out of here, get in here, relax. I got a lot going on in my life, but I'm not sitting idle. And it's a lot of people won't like what I say, but y'all have to know after 15 years, I don't care. I love every last one of y'all, but I'm gonna speak the truth as I see it. And if I get called out and one of my some of my facts are off, you know what I do. I come back and I apologize because I'm not perfect. But what I won't do is sit around timid and, 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 and passive and not calling out the stuff that's destroying our community. I'm not gonna do that. So on that note, look, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here, get in and make some stuff happen. Uh, later on in the day, but I, uh, whoever this Jice cat is, I, 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 I'm gonna really look into him and really make sure he's what I'm seeing. Cause what I'm saying, I'm not liking the elf, Claude Anderson, really. And, 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 and I said what I said, and F Neely Fuller too, F Neely Fuller too, and and that's just a couple of the posts that I've seen from this cat. Uh, and they got, got a little call with all the little wannabe pretender uh, intellectuals on there talking. Uh, you know, sometimes you can't really truly build something. So you create the illusion of it. You take the symbol of it. You go after the people who actually took the time to build it, however imperfect it is. And you try to tear the, what they built down. And the crazy thing is, as long as I've been seeing this push of people who attack uh, Dr. Anderson's work, I haven't seen any of them build shit since they started attacking. Matter of fact, the B1 stuff, the ADOS stuff, and all that stuff they talk about, that stuff is old. That stuff has been around. You didn't build that. You just took it and kind of put a new stamp on it and gave it a little uh, nudge and some more energy. That's been around. What 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 are you building? What have you had that you can sit up and say, I got decades of going hard in the paint for my people, and this is what I produced. If you if you can't do that, you need to sit your ass down somewhere. Where's your work? Where's your body of work? What have you done to justify? The, number one is. I have personally had conversations with with, with uh, Dr. Anderson and his wife Joanne about disagreements about certain things that he he has you know he written about and he's lectured about and talked about. Uh, but it was it, it was respectful disagreement and an and an acknowledgement of we holding two different positions. And I've never ever come out and blasted him because I respect him and. He has more time in the game than I have. And I've got 30 years. To me, it's not about saying I would, we, we, we'll throw our old and our young away without ever thinking about it. It's a damn shame. You know, just cause you're old don't mean, no, you don't get a pass cause you're old, but that should be a level of respect of how we handle our elders. Especially when I can look at it. I don't see anything in Dr. Anderson's work that sits up and says he went out and maliciously moved and acted against us. Whether he was wrong in his philosophies or not, you can argue and debate that. But you can't say that his intent was wrong. And if you can't say his intent was wrong, you got to sit up and say, man, he went hard. He believed enough to go hard. I will at least want to emulate his effort. But no. I'm gonna attack him. That's that's ego. Ego will destroy every damn thing you try to build. Ego will destroy. I'm not talking about confidence. I'm talking about ego. This idea that my my me me, that narcissistic idea of serving self. You lose sight of your true purpose, and it's not self. 
But anyway, look, I'm gonna get ready to get out because I could go just on and on about this. But yeah, man, this Charleston White Cat, trash. I, I mean, just straight trash. You, you, you got paper out. You got literally, you got paper out on getting somebody's kid hurt. You, you, you gonna put up 20 bands to get this dude's kid hurt. But you wouldn't put up five bands, ten bands, to sit up there and 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 and, and, and avenge Trayvon. Yeah. You know, keep it real. If you're not that dude, you're not that dude. But don't get don't get gully and all rough when it comes to uh, one of ours, man. That's my thing. We 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 get so buff when it comes to us. But we won't go hard when it comes to them. All of a sudden, we need to know how to act when it comes to them. Yeah. Anyway, look, I'm about to get out of here. Like I said at the beginning, if you like what I say, click the like button. Uh, click the share button, subscribe. For those of you who have followed me and know the work I do, when I'm not being me now, but being the researcher, the scientist, the psychologist that has written 26 books and uh, countless uh, articles and countless essays and papers uh, on the plight of blacks and produce program after program after program to help address issues. If you believe in that dude, uh, go to the description box and look in the description box and find a way in your heart to give to support the work I'm doing because I am now on a mission to help change state, local, and federal policies concerning mental health uh, resource access for adults, uh, predominantly males who are ending up homeless and in prison for things that they should be able to get access and treatment to, but are being denied or being ignored or being pushed back. And we have to address it in every area. We need to be resourceful, but we also need to address policies that are limiting our access. So again, on that note, uh, show some love and show some support. I'm out. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day.